Um, you know, it's a hassle for them. It's a problem for them. And they were expecting the building to be rented and now it's not. So, you know, you, you probably will have to pay something to your landlord if you decide to, to you know, not honor your contract. Hi, this is Anita from Real Estate Crunch. Today we're going to answer the question, can I change my mind after signing an apartment lease? You know, sometimes you uh, might check a lease for a building or apartment or some other property and then you sign the lease, you pay earns money and then suddenly say, I don't want that. I've changed my mind. Well, you know, some jurisdictions may have what's known as kind of a cooling off period for customers to be able to change their minds. But generally speaking, a lease for signing an apartment lease is a contract with real property and does not have a cooling off period. You know, once the signed copies are delivered to both parties, they become a valid contract. So really the contract is valid. And the reason is because under contract law, if you studied law, um, which I've studied some law, is there is something which is called the offer and acceptance. And when an offer and acceptance is made, then a contract is valid. And if they didn't have that offer and acceptance, then really contracts would have no value at all because anyone could change their mind any time. That's why the law and the legal laws for contracts are so strict because of this offer and acceptance and because it also ensures that a contract has meaning. But there are things that you can do if you do decide to change your mind. The first thing you can do is that you can ask your landlord to agree to let you out of the contract. You know, some landlords may say, okay, yes. Others may not because you have to understand the contract, the, the contract is valid and the, the landlord is under no legal obligation to allow you out of the contract. And you know most of them probably will keep your earned money because you've already signed the contract. They've taken the property off the market. Um, you know it's a hassle for them. It's a problem for them, and they were expecting the building to be rented, and now it's not. So you know you you probably will have to pay something to your landlord if you decide to to you know not honor your contract. The other is you can do what's called to resend the, uh, the offer, resend the contract. But this can only be done if there was something that you saw in the building which the landlord did not tell you about. Let's say, for example, you, um, you know, rented the apartment and then all of a sudden you discovered as you were you know, moving in that there was a whole bunch of water damage or the toilet didn't work or there was no hot water. You know, then you should have a right to be able to rescind the contract. But... Um, you know, for this to be valid, you must have a reason and there must be a legal reason and this must all be down in writing and you need to clearly tell the landlord why and return your keys for this to be legal. You know, if you have a um, landlord that's a problem or is difficult, then you may want to, you know, get some legal advice and get legal help for this. All changes to the contract should be in writing. And this is where a lot of people sort of make a mistake and, and somehow they think, well, I, I told him on the phone, I, I texted him, you know, I, I, I called him on WhatsApp. No, that doesn't work. It should really be legal and in writing. You should have a trace. You should be able to know that he received it. And even that's why a lot of times today people use registered mail or FedEx or other things where if you really have a difficult uh, landlord, you maybe want to you know, spend that extra cost, send it by registered mail where you have to sign for it, uh, send it by FedEx where you have a record that he received it, that you really want to be able to protect yourself and to make sure that you can show that you, you did it in writing and you did what you legally had to do. So an answer to is, can I change my mind? after signing an apartment lease or another type of lease agreement? The answer to that is that basically don't sign the contract unless you know you're going to take it. Because if not, it can be a lot of problems for you and you will probably end up paying money. That's why if you're going to buy a house, buy property, you're going to lease something, make sure it's something that you can do and you want to do and that when you make the offer and there's an acceptance on the offer, then it becomes a legally binding contract.
This is Anita from uh, Real Estate Crunch, and we will put a, a link below to our blog about this where you can read more information, maybe get some more ideas on this, and you can learn a bit more about this. We appreciate you being part of our community, and subscribe and, and join us. We'd love to have you be part of us. Thank you so much for listening, and thank you to um, our team, especially Rico, who helps put these podcasts together.